Hey guys, have you ever wondered how you can go out with just one rod and one bait and figure out how to catch some fish? So today I'm going to show you how I took one rod and just some Ned rigs and went out to the creek and caught right, some fish. There we go. Stay tuned. That's a better fish. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rhino Joe Outdoors, and I'm going to try not to fall down this hill because it's wet and muddy, but I appreciate you guys coming for another episode of Rhino Joe Outdoors, and I'm out here, as you can tell, I'm out here on the creek, and I am super pumped to get out here and try to fish. It looks like it's going to be a pretty nice morning um, to come out here before I got to go to work, and uh, all right, let's see, can we get down without falling? Come on. I'm channeling all of my inner billy goat. All right, good stuff. So, should be a good morning before I go into work, and I'm really hoping to get on some fish. So the creek's looking pretty juicy down here, and uh, I'm excited. Hopefully, catch some smallmouth. That's what I'd really like to get on today. But I'm really uh, not too too judgmental about what I catch today because I just want to catch something. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this Ned rig. I have a lot of confidence in it. And uh, it's pretty much like one of the best, I mean, if you're fishing a creek and you aren't using Ned rigs, you're kind of behind the power curve. It's very simple. You can actually do a lot of different things with it. You can just drag it along the bottom and kind of do like I'm doing here and let the current kind of take it down. Um, you can swim it. You can do a lot of stuff with it so it's a pretty neat little lure to use but that's what i'm going to start out with today i might switch it up to a tube here in a little bit but my main goal is to hopefully try to catch something the last time i was out here at the creek um it was a really bad cold front and this water had really cooled down so i did not have any luck i didn't even see any fish yeah I don't know, this water is really clear. I think I'm going to switch up my color here and switch to something a little bit more natural. Um, and see, this is what I had on there. It's a peanut butter and jelly, is that the color color? Because peanut butter, jelly, peanut butter, jelly. So we're going to change that out here. All right. Do, do, do. So, let's see. Ooh, I might use it maybe this it's got a little gold flake in it i'll try that out let's see what that's all about let's see what that's all about um one thing is guys like if you are out here fishing and you do discard of a bait don't leave it on the bank creeks and stuff everything gets washed downstream and fishermen we need to be the people who are taking care of this land and not the ones who are trashing it up and i noticed a lot of times when i come out here you'll see like freaking big gulp cups is like you know super big gas station drinks and you'll see people where they took a lure out of the packaging and left the packaging behind and that kind of stuff drives me nuts so please don't be one of those people these little things have these little weed guards on these kind and I like to spread them just a little bit and that keeps that lure from if it falls over like that you pull it that way it doesn't get snagged as much now you still will get snagged it is not snag free but it will save you a little bit from getting snagged I usually really don't care to get wet but I'm trying to stay at least as dry as possible today. I know I'm gonna end up having to get in here in some of these spots, probably get wet, but that water is kind of chilly. So I'm gonna try to billy goat along the side as much as possible without having to wade through the middle. All right, back on it, here comes some rain. I do not wanna get cold and wet, so I did bring my rain jacket. So let's get this on. 
Just like they said in the army, if it ain't raining, it ain't training. I'm not really training, but whatevs. Oh. Little guy. Yay, I caught something. I knew there would have to be a fish in there. Not the size I want, but I'm not going to be picky. Nice little itty bitty smallmouth. I had to leave it sit for a second, so I might have to do leave it sit for a second to catch some of these fish. All right, let's let this one go. All right, buddy, go back and grow big. Thanks for visiting Rhino Joe Outdoors. Tell you one thing that's nice about fishing from a kayak is most of them have cup holders and I'm really missing my coffee right now because I left it in the car. Come on now, what do you say? Girl, I can hardly wait. Get a little mud on the tire. I don't think that squirrel liked my singing. I just can't beat this, man. Well, guys, I tell you what, it is a beautiful morning out here, and uh. I'm like super enjoying myself out here. Uh, fishing's not too spectacular, but you know what? Like it is a beautiful day and uh, man, I, you just can't beat this. It's sun's kind of out, got a little bit of drizzle this morning, but man, this stream is beautiful. The water's clear and uh, it's just nice to be outside. I feel like uh, with everything that's going on, everybody's really stressed and everybody's on edge. And if you deal with the public at all, People are on edge and getting out and doing stuff like this is really what helps me out helps me make it day to day stay motivated and uh, keep crushing it so I'm really appreciating that you guys came along with me today and hopefully we're gonna catch a, little, a couple more fish up here I don't know if you all see that but looks like we got some darker clouds rolling in. I think I'm going to end up getting rained on here soon. We're going to try to do, 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 do. didn't plan on getting this deep. Really don't want to get to the old cojones. Woo! That is a lot deeper than I thought it was. Wowzers. Oh man. Oh, how cool. Look at there. There's the thunder. lost my shoe there some of that sticky mud I don't know if you saw that but I got snagged there pretty good and what I did is I went upstream from it and pulled on my line upstream what will happen is that jig head will get wedged underneath of a rock and the current will keep it pinned under there and so it makes it really hard to get out of there unless you get upstream from it so now it really is starting to get starting to uh, actually rain pretty decent
All right, there we go. That's a better fish. What is that? That's a cat. That's a freaking cat. That's a cat or a drum. That's a drum. Look at this. I'm gonna have to let him. Oh man, he's getting out that current. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here comes the rain. Look at that sucker. <clears throat> All right, see you, dude. Come on. Woo! I was really hoping that was a big old smiley. Haha, I didn't fall this time, suckers. I was gonna do that, was gonna be my last cast. There we go. That's probably a rock bass. Rock bass. Called that one. Oh, that about how he bit. He barely got that. Barely got it. Little rock bass. Look at the coloring on his fins. That like black line. Such a neat little fish. Alright. See ya. Alright, let's try to get back out of here without falling. We did it last time. We'll see if we can do it this time. Oops. And I got in here this time without falling on my butt, so that was nice. Back here, folks. Son of a pickle. Don't put it on a t-shirt without my written permission. All right. Woo! So, guys, great day. Out here, got a little wet. Remember when I started and I said, "Oh, I don't plan on getting that wet. I'm gonna try to stay as dry as I can." Yep. That didn't happen. Uh, my legs are cold. My feet are cold. But you know what warms me up? some of the sweet juicy fish on the end of my line tugging on my lure had a great time out here today um i don't know i'm gonna try to have a good rest of my day but man talk about putting me in a good mood come out here catch some fish have a good time so as always guys i hope each and every one of you are healthy and safe and are dealing as best you can with all of this coronavirus stuff Hopefully you get out and do some fishing or get outside, do some hiking. Get outside and do something. Don't just stay in your house. Uh, it'll drive you nuts. But 
as always guys get outside do something awesome if you get a chance take somebody with you and i appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys in the next one